Welcome to Toon Boom Studio version 3.5. Now, you might be asking yourself, what in the world is Toon Boom Studio? It's got a cool name, and it's got a cool concept behind it. It's an animation application that you create animation with on your computer. Whether you're used to animating with traditional techniques, or you're one of those new people who only do everything on a computer, you'll be right at home with this application. Now, me personally, I do both. I like to draw things on paper, scan them in, and then trace over them in something like Illustrator, and then bring them into Toon Boom Studio. But in this case here, I have a pirate ship, a tree, and a little island in the water that I created digitally within the application itself. So you're not restricted to any one particular method of working. In most applications such as this, you see a timeline, and this pretty much helps you to navigate your scene so you can place all your elements where you want them in a particular frame. You can also lay them out according to pretty much their depth in the scene. If you notice, the trees are on the top layer because the trees are closest to our eye. They are closest to the camera. And the sky is on the bottom because the sky is furthest from us. So once you get used to thinking this way, the application becomes even more easy to use. We also have a lot of digital tools to help us to create content and to modify that content and also to animate that content over time. We have our exposure sheet, and this pretty much tells the application, well, what layer order are these items going to be in, and how long do they show up in the scene, hence exposure. And their exposure, as well, is also indicated in the timeline. In this particular animation, everything is on the scene for 90 frames, which is roughly 3 seconds of animation. We also have a lot of other tools, such as cameras, that we can actually use to manipulate our objects in space. So you can click on something and move it around and it will move it either closer to or away from the camera. And I'm going to cover all this stuff later on. Now before I end this particular introduction, I'm going to press my return key so you can get a quick preview of this animation of this pirate ship. And we'll just give it a couple of seconds to load it. And wait for the uh, frame to render. As you see here, I have a very quick animation of this ship as it heads to its uh, hideaway. And to tell you the truth, just to give you an example of how easy this application is to use, this took me no more than about 30 minutes to build, from the creation of the artwork to the laying out of the elements to just getting everything animated. And I could have gone a little faster, but I was just playing around, so adding a little details to the water and the starfish and just pretty much having a good time adding gradients and painting the sky and that kind of stuff. So it's an easy application to use once you get used to it. So don't let it intimidate you. If you're used to animating, then you won't have a problem. If you're new to animation and you're relatively new to computers, just sit back, enjoy the lessons, and I'll get you up and running in no time. So once again, welcome to Toon Boom Studio version 3.5.